to make this chicken dish i have taken 750 gram chicken to it i am adding 2 teaspoon red chili powder Two teaspoons salt, one tablespoon ginger paste, two tablespoon garlic paste, and two tablespoon curd or dahi. and mix it well with the chicken this bowl is too small for doing it properly i have transferred the chicken to a bigger bowl and rubbing it with all the ingredients that i have added to it i will cover it with a lid and leave it in the refrigerator to be to marinate for 30 minutes to 1 hour here I have taken two bay leaves, five cardamom or elaichi, few sticks of cinnamon dalcini, six cloves long and few strands of jayatri flower and black pepper and adding the whole masala to the warm oil and saute it for a few seconds till the masala starts to crackle. Once it, once it starts to crackle, I will add sliced onion to it. I have taken four small onions and sliced it. And cook it till it turns golden brown. The onion has turned golden brown. Next, I will add the chicken that I have marinated for one hour to the onion. And cook it in high flame for two minutes. I will add a little salt to it now. I have added some salt before while marinating, so I'll add a very little salt to it. Next, I'll add one tablespoon of coriander powder and mix it well with the chicken. While the chicken is getting fried, I have taken here one cup of the heat curd and to it I am adding coconut milk. Half cup coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk, you can use plain milk but don't mix it with the heat. You can add it later on. Now I will add this mixture to the chicken. And keep stirring it constantly. Now I will add cashew nut paste made of 7 cashew with little water and mix it well and cover the pan and cook in, a, in low flame for 5 minutes.
in another pen i will be making a special powder for which i have taken 1 tablespoon cumin or jeera black pepper that is kali mirch cinnamon stick dalchini few cloves and seeds of cardamom or elaichi seeds and dry roast them and dry roast them and then make a powder of it after 5 minutes open the lid add the powder to it and mix it well check for the tenderness if the chicken has become tender it means the chicken is properly cooked now add one and half tablespoon of keora water to it and mix it well let this chicken simmer for two minutes The, now the chicken kurma is ready and the color has come out so well just see I'll put off the flame and shift it to another bowl and serve it hot with roti or naan. If you have liked the recipe please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family chicken kurma is ready